One of the big races we're going to be watching closely tonight is the race for the 23rd Congressional District. Republican Will Hurd currently holds the seat, but he decided to retire after his third term. Tonight, Republican Tony Gonzalez hopes to keep that seat red as he faces Democrat Gina Ortiz-Jones, who narrowly lost to Hurd two years ago. Tim Gerber, following the Gonzalez campaign, he joins us now live with a preview of this race. Good evening, Ursula. They are all set up for what the Gonzalez campaign is calling a victory party outside their campaign headquarters here on the north side for later tonight. The candidate not taking anything for granted today, hitting that trail one last time very hard today. Gonzalez spending his day barnstorming portions of the district, which covers more than 500 miles from San Antonio to El Paso and along the U.S.-Mexican border. He left San Antonio, he said this morning, at 4.30 and has visited 13 counties, visiting the towns of Rock Springs, Del Rio, Brackettville, Eagle Pass and many others uh, in the district, stopping at several polling locations along the way where he tried to make one last pitch to voters that he's the man they need to represent them. We caught up with him a short time ago when he made a stop in Carrizo Springs. Yeah, it's a reminder that uh, I'm going to show up. I'm going to show up on Election Day. I'm going to show up the day after. Uh, I'm going to be their representative, whether they vote for me or not, whether they're from city or a small town, I'm going to represent them. So to me, today, election day is about showing up. This district well known for tight races. Two years ago, Gina Ortiz Jones lost to Will Hurd by just 926 votes. And in the Republican primary runoff back in July, Gonzalez beat his challenger for the nomination by the slim margin of just 45 votes. The Gonzalez team hoping for a very decisive victory tonight. We'll have to see what happens, but they are definitely planning to have a celebration out here. We'll be with them throughout the night. For now, reporting live on the north side, Tim Gerber, KSAT 12 News. Yeah, always close in that district. Thank you, Tim. Again, Gonzalez up against Democratic candidate Gina Ortiz Jones. Yesterday, we heard from Jones during a rally for herself and MJ Hagar, who's running for United States Senator. But we're being tested, right? Who are we as Americans? What kind of country do we owe the next generation of Americans? Tonight at 6, our Courtney Friedman checks in with the Ortiz Jones campaign to get her thoughts on tonight's results and what she expects.